Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matt, and uh, today I have a very special and uh, unique tutorial that many of you guys want to see. It's pretty much that glowing gun effect tutorial uh, effect that I've done on some of my edits, like in this edit in my Oxygen RC. Uh, it's like when a, a certain uh, thing glows in the edit, uh, usually like pistols or like something that the uh, players don't usually um, would use in a trick shot. So like you're pretty much highlighting that, uh, highlighting that part of the trick shot. So without further ado, I'm going to show you guys what the effect is. And it's one of the in the set is when the player knifes across the screen, and then when uh, the cinematic zooms up on the t red roof on terminal, and the guy is standing there, and he's kept in like a glow. So yeah, here here it is. So yeah, you saw when he um when he uh it's a bit far, it's a bit far. whatever. It's not working right now, but when uh went up on the the cinematic he was standing there and he was covered in a glow it's actually a really easy tutorial and i don't have much time so yeah if, sorry if i'm talking quiet i um my whole film is like sleeping so yeah with that let's start let's get into this so i just imported my clip pretty much you guys should all know how to do that i'm gonna be doing like a tutorial on how to uh, edit later but for now i just gotta make this quick so import my clip and then i'm gonna make a new adjustment layer adjustment layer and it starts here I'm gonna do this one, trim it, and then I'm gonna mask it out. So I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna do one of the guns just to uh, show you guys the effect, basically. You guys can go from there, because it's not the same for every clip. So I'm just gonna keyframe it, go over a couple frames. It's pretty much the same thing. Maybe I just, oops. Maybe I just move uh, this down, this thing down in here. This is more towards the gun. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be exact mass too because uh, we're gonna feather it out a lot. And it's like okay, so I just want to go to here. It's like that, and then so those are keyframes. So if you go through, make sure let's move this down too. Oop! I made it curvy, so it's gonna be really weird. So yeah, as you can see, it goes through and then it goes around the gun. So yeah, so we're gonna add on some CC light rays to the adjustment layer. We're gonna set this to 200, set this to 100, and we're gonna be good. And we're gonna click keyframe in the center, click this button, put it to the left side of the gun. It doesn't really matter which side. I just start on the left. Go to the end of the adjustment layer where you want the effect to stop. Click this again. Go to the other side of the gun. So we have like an animation going on here. Pretty nice. And then we're gonna add on some CC light burst 2.5. 2.5 and drag that onto the clip if it's gonna drag onto the clip there we go and it didn't drag on again there we go so now as you can see it's whoa it's like really weird we're gonna leave that how it is the 150 you can mess with the settings all you want just for this clip and like this scenario that's how it's gonna be and we're gonna change from here to add and if you don't have this thing right here you gotta click this toggle switches and modes one and that will uh, enable you to do this effect so after you do that we're gonna add some color to this thing, so we're gonna switch up tritone. We're gonna drag that onto the adjustment layer, and the midtone is the main color. So if we make this like a bluish thing, like a light blue like that, and then we can change from the white to a green, and then for the black we can do like a red. Why not? Really cool colors, and then on the adjustment layer, we can click F on our keyboard. And the pixels I like to. Uh, feather it up to 150 pixels so it's like that and then as you can see as we go through it changes colors and if you didn't add the CC light rays where it goes through it would just stay as one color so that's why you want to have different colors going through it's really cool you can use this in like upbeat music edits I wouldn't use it in like a rap or like a screamo edit it just doesn't fit and uh, yeah you use it on like pistols or you can use it on anything you want actually just be creative with it and yeah, have fun. So yeah, that's been a tutorial. It's been my first tutorial actually. So if you guys could leave a like and comment, that'd be great. And I'll see you guys in my next edit. Peace.